I'm Fran Williams, Director of B Sharp Youth Music Organisation based in Nine Regis. B Sharp provide inclusive and inspirational music making opportunities. We are known for our creative work with clear pathways to progression, nurturing music and leadership skills. Since we began in 2007, we have worked with hundreds of young people on some fantastic projects. Coastal Voices is a great example of our work and of what can be achieved by working together. I'm John K. Miles and I'm a composer who's been working with the inspirational youth music organisation B Sharp. Over the past five years, we've collaborated on several composition and performance projects and commissioned by the Lighthouse in Paul on Golden Cap has been our most ambitious collaboration to date. The catalyst and starting point for the piece was a songwriting project with local young people from Lyme Regis and the surrounding areas called Hear Hear. The resulting songs painted a broad picture of what it was like for young people to live in Lyme. I wrote the score on Golden Cat in direct response to this project. Once the piece was written, 180 young people from West Dorset and East Devon gave an outstanding performance of the piece. How do you become involved with the Coastal Voices project? Um, well, we'd been doing the, the original John K. Miles project when we had Billy Bragg come in and write the original songs that eventually went into making the main piece. Yeah, a very famous singer-songwriter came in called Billy Bragg, who lives locally, and he came in um, to really get us kick-started with the lyric writing. Um, that's what kind of what we asked him to do, um, to sort of set the bar for, for writing meaning uh, meaningful lyrics. So if you want to reach a lot of people, rather than writing a bland song that doesn't, you know, doesn't really touch on any emotions, if you can really dig out something that's very personal to you, you have a much greater effect of when you stand up and say it, resonating with your, with your peers, with people who've had that similar experience to you, which are often people of your same age group. What we did was I brought in some starting points. One of the starting points is in, actually in the final piece, which goes... A very simple melodic, melodic phrase. They're different, and then what I did was took a few little musical elements from it. I took a lot, lot of the lyrics and bound it into a, a narrative, long-form classical piece, which was um, 17 minutes 45 seconds long. <laughs> he was really talented in the way that he kind of takes the best aspects of each song, and then keep you know keep this the character of the song especially the, there was a song which had the shine 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 bit in it and that still you know the, the spirit of the song still came across in the main piece Yeah, so I, I made it into a narrative and it was about moving from east to west. Um, being a Londoner originally, uh, that's how I, how I saw it. And it's also going into the sun and, and to me it represented escaping to freedom, I suppose. Um, but then we get there, we get to Lyme Regis and then it's not all freedom. There's, there's some dark bits as well, and there's some light bits. There's um, some inspiring bits and some depressing bits even. Um, but ultimately, um, throughout this day in Lyme Regis, during the during the music, um, the environment is the thing that that, that that the music escapes to, and we ascend Golden Cap, which is one of the, I think it's the highest point in southern England. And then we went back and we we started rehearsing that piece, and it, it's a completely different process. It wasn't as participatory. Um, we went and literally rehearsed it with um, an established choir at Collison Grammar School. We got a taster session from yeah. John. He, he came he was in very and good. had some amazing music, really quite inspiring, and everyone really enjoyed it. So we, you know, went away quite really excited about being what part was to come. of it. Yeah, it's a fusion piece, but it, it has a lot of those those things that you have in in classical music, where you you have to learn lots of parts, and there are lots of parts happening underneath your part. And for some people, that was a completely new experience, and and I hope people enjoyed that. Well, Fran came in with with uh, John to do a project with Year Nine and, um, back in the autumn term last year. And while she was there, she talked about this coastal project, Coastal Voices project, and uh, asked whether it'd be interested in getting involved. And of course, we said yes. 
we had a, um, an open access choir based at Woodruff School. Some of, some of those people had been involved with the school choir, some hadn't. Some were completely new to the concept of singing um, in different parts in a choir. <laughs> my, my approach to, um, to singing is to try and have a really good time. So in, in the warm-ups, I, I do lots of um, try and do lots of fun things. I mean, that break the ice, that that you can't possibly look cool doing, um, and, um, and 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 it just helps everybody feel relaxed um, and, and and a feeling of cohesion. Yeah, we did. Uh, we did two performances of the piece. Um, we, we we did a performance at Pool um, at, at a great concert hall called the Lighthouse, and and I think it, it was great for the project to do their first performance there because it, it it had a real. I mean, I think the thing is about concert halls. They they're designed for everybody to look at you, to hear you, and to. The whole attention and the whole energy is directed to the people on stage, and um, the acoustics are designed in such a way that voices carry to the rooftops. So, you know, it felt like this was the moment we'd, we'd practiced, we worked really hard. Um, this was the end of a long, long process. It, it was great leading up to the rehearsals, leading up to the concert, but the actual concert was another lift, and it, it you know, we were helped by the acoustics and helped by the fantastic sound team at Lighthouse, but um, actually, I think the young people actually lifted themselves too. They really rose to the occasion. How was your performance at Paul? It, it was really good, actually. You were nervous, but it, I didn't find it scary. I found it good that I could perform in front of other people and they could see what yeah. other people can do. That one was... It was phenomenal. Goosebumps. Yeah. Walking into it, you were just oh, like, sort of like, blimey, this mm. is really big. Yeah, <laughs> it just, it made you think how much work had gone into it and that it really was a big deal and it was something mm. to feel proud of. Really good fun. I, even though we've been part of the for a bit, where I have, we've never had an audience or been in somewhere like a big concert hall like that. Mm. And, and it was brilliant to be part of something. Working with other people as well, yeah. and you know, it was quite so diverse, all the other things as well. Really with, yeah. with, with other schools as well, yeah. which yeah, was quite great. which was good. In Paul, yeah. brilliant, apart from the fact that I can't do the body percussion. I thought the warm-ups were great. Yeah, we had to, in Paul, we had to, um, uh, an amazing lady, Lindsay, who came in um, and did a warm up, which was which was fantastic because we had, she's a professional soprano. To do justice to the great work that was going on vocally, we um, we we hired a professional band and we got some some great players from from who some crossover players because the, because the piece is 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 based in groove and also classical form. They've uh, they played with uh, lots of different uh, well-known people, people at the top of their game, and it was just great. I think it was great for, for, for everybody to enjoy in, enjoy their playing and, 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 it, and it really helped us relax on the singing um, because we knew they'd be there playing in time and in tune. <laughs> what more could you ask for? Um, do you think your confidence improved over this project? After, after having to sing a solo in front of a fair few people <laughs> where I was in Nerv a big nervous state and after doing it I felt brilliant so yeah definitely it was like it was really sort of not not scary but especially for me because I'm the only one that came from Max Valley I was mm. sort of going from my school into this whole new school with all new people that I've never really met before and working on something that none mm. of us knew what was sort of going to come of it but yeah it's turned out really great Intense. I loved re re doing the rehearsals <laughs> Um, 
was an amazing occasion actually, the final rehearsal. We had Neville Mariner, Howard Moody, and, um, and then we had an open access choir, we had experienced singers, we had less experienced singers, we had a professional band, and it was a great collection of people um, to have under one roof. And, and, and I think that really started, got us in the mood for the concert in Paul. And um, so far with this, uh, what's, what's the best bit for you? What's the highlight of uh, doing this project? Probably the Woodruff practice, because that was great when we first came together, all of us, so we could see all the different parts, because we'd just been practicing in our, in our own school, and it was just our parts. It was really good to hear all the other singers as well. Yeah. I think singing a new song that no one else has sang before, mm. it's been written for you sort of thing, you feel sort of an individual as part of a whole. What's the biggest thing you've learned so far, I think? Not to be scared in front of singing in front of people. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. Yeah. And to get on with other schools as well. You're the best singer yeah, that you can just... be. As a teacher, do you think there's many other opportunities like this around in school for alter external people to come in and do work? Well, as a result of B-Sharp, they're happy. No. No. No, I mean, in Dorset especially. It's and just... Devon. <laughs> in, in England, maybe? Like, just, you've got to... It's just the, how open and friendly, it's yeah. like a massive tight knit. Like, it is great. And the opportunity to do this and invite more people in is just kind of expanding it and making it all the more accessible and open to more people and it's just a really great opportunity. So yeah, it is. Very grateful to be part of it. I enjoy it. I yeah. mean, I'd be happy doing it in my free time at home, but the project that would get a group of us from school again would be great. It's that whole sort of unity thing that gives you a lot more um, confidence in yourself and other people. We didn't really think of Woodruff or the primary school as having choirs and that we could bring together to create one big yeah. choir before. When you bring those things, I think I've learned that when you bring all these people together, you get something that's quite amazing, really. Yeah. And it's yeah. to be something part of you can be something just a little cog in the wheel of something really big, which is great. Yeah. Shine, 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 shine. That's great. <laughs> um, the second performance was at Weymouth, and that was actually for the uh, opening of the Olympics. It was a different experience to the first performance in Paul, in, in that it was the opposite. There was a sort of massive focus in Paul, in, in, in an internal focus, and then suddenly we were at Weymouth and we had all this. We had the sea next to us and we had all the space and all the sky you can imagine. The people involved with these kinds of projects do get something out of it. I mean, I think not everybody who is involved with music projects, um, they're not, people aren't all going to become professional musicians, why, and, and why should they? <laughs> but, um, but I think the sort of transferable experience of, of being involved in a creative process, um, that can be applied to anything, from science to, to the arts, um, to just living your life in a creative way. It's, it's uh, building confidence in performance and people exceeding their own expectations of what they can do in front of other people.
That's wonderful. Thank you very much. John K. Miles and the singers of East Devon, Lyme Regis and B Sharp who present on Golden Cap.
I'm Elspeth McBain, Chief Executive of Lighthouse Pool. Coastal Voices has been one of the largest participatory projects that Lighthouse has delivered, and I'm utterly delighted with the outcomes it has achieved. B Sharp have produced the most amazing and inspiring performances that was as much about the process and working with very talented musicians such as John K. Mars and Billy Bragg as it was about the performances. And all the participants, including me, will never, ever forget it. The project took two years to plan, with many partners coming together to get it to fruition, and the outcomes have totally exceeded all of our expectations. The legacy of singing needs to continue stronger, better, to inspire a new generation